in China, Dao Mu, grave robbery, already existed for thousand years. In ancient China, people thought the life after death was as important as the life of living. So, except Jin Dynasty and the Northern and the Southern Dynasties, ancient Chinese always brought lots of treasures into their tombs. Started from Western Zhou Dynasty, some ancient Chinese already worked as grave robbers. Started from Han Dynasty, grave robbery was capital crime, but grave robbery never stopped. Before Ming Dynasty, sometimes even the government officers stolen treasures from ancient tombs. For example, in Three Kingdoms period, to support the wall, Cao Cao organized an army only focusing on grave robbery. The leader of this army was called Fa Qiu Zhong Lang Jiang. The soldiers were called Mo Jin Xiao Wei. The most famous, famous royal family tomb stolen by Cao Cao's army was the tomb of the Prince Liang Xiao of Han and his wife. Cao Cao used the treasures gotten from tombs to support his armies for three years. In ancient China, usually family members organized a group to stolen treasures from the tomb. Because after got valuable treasures, non-family members might fight each other. But an interesting was usually grave robbers group was Jiu Jiu, which is mother's brother and the Wai Sheng, nephew, not father and son. There were two reasons why Asian Chinese did this. One was if their behavior was discovered, is capital crime. In son and the father group, both of them would die. Then the family couldn't continue. The second reason was the character Jiu has the same pronunciation of the character Jiu, which means could be saved. The character Sheng has the same pronunciation of the character Sheng, which means could lie. So mother's brother and the nephew's group represents Yu Jiu, Yu Sheng, means they could survive. If grave robbers were father and son group, usually the father waited outside the tomb. The son went into the tomb because the son might keep his father in the tomb and lived with treasures. But the father rarely lived to keep his son in tomb. In all dynasties emperors, Ming emperors were luckiest because in 13 tombs of Ming dynasty, only Ding Ling, which was the tomb of the Emperor Wan Li was opened, and Ding Ling wasn't opened by grave robbers. It was opened by CCP's researchers. I will talk you the story of Ding Ling in future video. See you soon.